I'm waiting, Cloud. All right then. Seeing as we've got the time, wanna tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. The little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission with suffering. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Sorry. No can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utah. Stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Ah, <sighs> fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our 12! Let's go. Was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Oh, 
home sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Oh there, Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah, don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off-duty till sundown. Mm. Hmm. A soldier. And you are? Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. Lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home! Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud! But you know, Cloud... Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. 
You should get some rest. All right. Will do. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It made a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. near the village and they're not nice what do you think I think I got this then they're all yours copy that that was awesome you think if this is how it's going to be there doesn't seem much point in me fighting I guess not you leave it all to me huh don't mind if I do Is that Mako? Whoa! <laughs> Come on, soldier! You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> You'd better. Cool. 
See you at the reactor. Come on. He's in Fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Mm -hmm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him, he is anything but. We should press on.
wait. Huh? What? Get back. said you wanted to be a hero. Wish I had On me. Maybe I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. Wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too. Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Keep me safe. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... Pressurized. 
cloud. Go out and shut off the valve. Copy. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M-E-G-L 77-1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, MEGL 913-1977. Genova Project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. We 
you got your Nova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What?
Hang in there. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry. I got you. Come on. Let's get you up. I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. I won't say that it was fair. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The Black Materia. Key fair. to our oblivion. You should get yourself a reading! Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? It's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! <laughs> Don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Here, take it. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world, and you. The reunion, when spite and sorrow are harvested to feed the planet. No! When 
there is so much to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled Promised Land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken had all been as the Whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the Whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down on his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began.